Hi and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to show you how to create an app using NinjaMock. So this is our designer workspace where you can see that I created a couple of different pages down here. We're just going to uh, press preview so that you can see the user flow of this app that I created and afterwards we are going to create it together. So this is the front page where we're going to have a cover picture here. Uh, and it's a shop, it's a shopping app where there's a menu, a world icon, a login icon and a shopping basket. So you can see these small blue dots that are here, they are symbolizing a link. So if I click this menu, then it's linked to another page that I created. So here you can see a menu and a couple of links as well. And if I just click woman, I go to another page created, which is the product overview page. And again, I link this to a specific product page. If we click add here, you go to the shopping basket. If we didn't want to buy this trench coat online, for example, we could go to find store and check out where else we could go buy this item in a physical store. So this is an example of an app you can create in NinjaMark. Let's get started. So now we're back in our designer workspace and we're going to choose uh, bars and choose a navigation bar and drag it into place. We change the title to shop and choose Arial as font. Choose the icon and then copy paste three times. Choose source and a basket and a login icon. And from the icon finder library, we'll choose a world icon. We insert an image, a text, and we're gonna write free shipping for orders over $100. Just gonna change the size a bit, change it to Arial. Now we're gonna duplicate the page and we're gonna create the menu page. So I'm just gonna drag a list item like this. And we're gonna select the search bar and drag it to fit. We're gonna change the text and choose Arial again. And we're just gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna delete this. Now change the font to woman, man, kids, sale, and about. To continue this tutorial, watch part two of how to create an app using NintiMark.